hey, you want YouTube content? You want vlog style? You want unedited? Because I hate editing. I just, I just want to work. So tonight, let's, let's try this. Five minutes, six minutes? Sure. Let's see how much I can do, how long you can watch before you click off somewhere else because you're annoyed at how annoying this is. Or maybe it's excellent. Please let me know in the comments. Oh my God, I sound like a YouTuber. Ugh. Right. Polo, Harlequin. Yes, you might've seen it over in Donut Media. Dirty little secrets. Well, yes, it has yellow brake calipers in the rear, but they were never hooked up to the handbrake cables. E-brake cables, if we're being all American. So inside, past the Black Forest shift knob, past the original yellow color concept, from a Mark III Cabriolet in Europe e-brake handle, which came from Volkswagen Pars Classic. Here is, you, know, you can't even see that. There's the two screws that hold the cable on. And I went through my parts bin and I found Mark III golf cables, which are brand new. And they are that part number. And these are approximately 20 millimeters shorter than the correct ones for a polo. But in America, we don't have polos. So I'm gonna try and jam those on and see if they fit. I'm also using Mark IV calipers, so everything's just a hodgepodge. Who knows if that's gonna work. Over here, past the hand-built caddy, that's another project for another day. Brandon's cabrio and cooling fans running because it is really hot and humid in here. He is trying to make his cooling fan switch work. So, let me flip the camera around. Here is Brandon, go follow him on Instagram. And here is a CE1 fuse panel, which we found out C, the block C is the one that controls it. And what number was it? 20? 20. Wire C20, well, was it 20 or was it fuse 20? Whatever. It was 20 fuse 15. Yes, so the wire from C20 goes through C15, which is the fan after on switch, which is then gonna come out here into his now very swapped engine. And there's the relay for the custom fan. And that will fix that. Cool, great, moving on. Go past Golf Rally, past all that stuff. Through here. Up. All right, into the Mark I section. Taxi prototype, eh, sorry, not working on you. Race car, still collecting parts. Ugh, Swallowtail, 1974 build. This is drum brakes. If you have not seen them, these are factory. This is a front hub for a rabbit, left and right, or right and left, let me think. That's left side, right side. These are factory. When I flip these over, you will see it is a factory drum front brake of which I have found brand new bearings, brand new brake cylinders, brand new drums, brand new pads, shoes, pads, ugh, shoes and all these other parts. And then somewhere up here, I have even more parts for them. So I'm gonna build this and then on this car quite soon, gonna be a big surprise coming up. Um, yeah, otherwise, it's, it's yeah, missing some chunks and sure this kind of fell off and it has chrome and I didn't put the windshield in right, but whatever, don't worry about that. So these are all jobs to do, but that will, yeah, be progressed. What I'm gonna do right now is pull the hubs off, change the bearings, probably not tonight, gonna run out of time, but yeah, let's go back. Other thing I have to do really soon Doka windshield because it doesn't have one and it needs to go outside again. So yeah, I need to install that. Then it's got seats and things. They can start to go in. It doesn't have a dashboard, steering wheel, seats, anything, carpet, whatever. But right now, Polo rear disc brake cables. Let's do it. So pretty much this is what all late style Mark IIs, Mark Threes, everything looks like. Cable comes in through a channel here and then it has two nuts that lock it in and then it has this left to right adjuster. So you just simply take off the nut, go outside and hopefully this will pull through in theory, but quite often it's corroded and rusted, but at least in here they look pretty good. 
So, underneath the Polar Harlequin, 180 Turbo Swap. Yes, we did things. Yes, this is the Black Forest custom made mount with a dick butt on it. Uh, before anyone comments, no, this is not hanging loose. It is cable tied on there, but I'm also replacing all of that. Past the Miltech exhaust, keep going. And here is the rear brake caliper. It's brand new. So the cable is gonna go through this hole and into there. But right now, as you see, it is a drum end, quite different. And it goes through here, well, kind of crushing it there and inside this tube there. So I'm gonna pull this out and hopefully it comes out of this tube and it's not too corroded. It's a nice theory. Well, you miss the exciting work, but putting a pair of vice grips on both ends, giving it a little twist, did allow it to slide out. So driver side, good to go. Now passenger side. So same deal there, just give it a wiggle and it comes out. That's what she said. So I just lowered the car after putting the first cable in. It did seem to go all fine in there, but they're basically all interchangeable. But I'm only doing one in test fitting because then if it's wrong, I haven't done too much. But would you look at that? There is the new cable and it reaches m more than enough. In fact, maybe too much. Um, yeah, so as long as that's okay lengthwise, then we are in business. Yeah, I think that's, that's hopefully gonna be good. Well, someone just asked me for the part number on the rabbit front drum brake shoes. So if you need it, there it is. I hope that helps. Back to the polo brakes. Welcome back inside the polo. That is it. Both of the cables have been pushed through and they are both adjusted. So now when I pull on the cable or the handle rather, yeah, that was not a good view. When I pull on the handle and block the light, you can see it works. So that's it. Just go outside, button everything up, and maybe adjust these a tiny bit more, and we're finished. So you can't really see it, but Brandon has found that wire through into the engine bay, so he's got that. Tomorrow we're going to extend it. It's about 12 inches short, but we'll use the nice crimp and heat shrink connectors. Polo is done, um, eh, almost. I still have to clamp the, the cables, I have to go back into their routing there, but it works, it adjusts fine. So Mark III early golf disc cables work in a Polo 6N factory handbrake with the late Mark or the Mark IV style aluminium calipers. If you're ever looking for that, Mark II, III, IV calipers are all interchangeable. They just change slight layout, but they bolt up the same. Mark IV ones are aluminium, aluminum if you're American, and uh, yeah, they don't rust as badly as the Mark II and the Mark III ones. So nice upgrade. One final thing, as you can see, a yellow coil over there. If we run around to the front. Got a red one there, yes, from ST Suspension. The Polo does have four different color springs. Very fancy. Um, if you want to check that out, it is part of the ST customization line. They will only do you one color, but you can choose whatever color spring you want. And then you can also have your name or your car name or your Instagram handle or whatever you want printed onto the spring as well. So anyway, shout out to those guys everyone else that's involved in this project. That's it. This was my hopefully five minutes, six minutes working live. I do this every single day for one hour during COVID lockdown. I've been going live on Instagram every day at 5 p.m. Eastern time, but I should probably do more things on YouTube and Facebook, whatever else. So this is what I'm working on after hours. It is now 10 p.m., 11 p.m., something like that. I'm done. I'm going to go home, wash my hair. I'm going to go wash my hands right now. We'll see what we work on tomorrow. Bye. So that really is it, done for the night.
Brandon's head now and I'm driving the Geo Tracker home. It is uh, kind of, temperatures dropped. It is kind of uh, wet and stuff. So instead of riding the bicycle, definitely Geo Tracker night. <laughs> 